Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel, a wee slightly different video. Now obviously this story broke last night that the SPFL clubs have voted on this resolution that will end the Championship League 1 and League 2. So congratulations go out to Dundee United, congratulations go out to Rafe Rovers and congratulations go out to Cove Rangers. You have been promoted from your league, so Dundee United going to the Premiership, uh, Rafe Rovers going to the Championship and Cove Rangers going to League 1. So that's going to be very, very interesting next season, so congratulations to them. Unfortunately, because of this resolution, it means that the following clubs are relegated. Partick Thistle are relegated to League 1 and Stranraer are relegated to League 2. Now, there's no playoffs now. There's no playoffs in the Championship, League 1, League 2. Um... So, obviously, Brecon City have managed to avoid a third straight relegation. So, you know, that's a bit of a side of relief for them. Um, but everyone was waiting. Everyone was waiting on Dundee. Everyone was absolutely waiting to see what was going to happen. Dundee, there was a lot of con confusion between Rangers and Hearts. And, you know, people saying that, um, you know, that Dundee vote was the one that, that counted, you know, um, basically Inverness vetoed against it. The clubs that voted against this resolution were as follows. Rangers, Hearts of the Premiership, Inverness of the Championship, um, Falkirk of uh, League One. Uh, I think there was, a, there was another couple as well. But the majority of the clubs voted to basically end the season. So... That's obviously now come into question the integrity of the, the sport. And it's also come into question the, the people um, who actually lead Scottish football at this moment. Now, Neil Doncaster, as much as we can say that he's done, you know, done much as he can for Scottish football, I'm sorry, mate, it's time to go. It's time to go. This resolution was an absolute farce. From start to finish. What are you thinking? Getting clubs to vote for a resolution to basically not allow themselves. I mean, if you if you think about it, right? If you think about it, Falkirk were one point behind Rafe Rovers in the league. Now, they're obviously not going to go up. So they're obviously having to stay in League One next season. What a joke. What an absolute joke. You've got Hearts battling relegation at the moment. Um, Anne Budge has obviously came out and she's trying to get she's trying to get Hearts to, you know, um, fight this and, and rightly so. Um, understandably though obviously Rangers do not want Celtic to win the league, but I think I think they are probably accepting the fact that it's gonna probably happen now. But what on earth has happened? What is it what what on earth is going on? What is what on earth is going on? And for someone who's called Murdoch McLennan, I mean that that name for a start is just weird. Weird all of a sudden, right? What the hell is going on with the SPFL? It's an absolute chaos. We've obviously had Rangers questioning the integrity of Doncaster and McLennan and the people who are in charge of the SPFL. The one investigated. You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just astounded. I am absolutely astounded with what is going on in Scottish football. It's an absolute shambles. It is an absolute shambles. And... The sooner or better, the the sooner or later we basically get these clowns out of uh, Scottish football. Doncaster, I, I know you've done really well in the, the TV money as well, but coming out with statements saying, oh, Sky is going to be so great for Scottish football, when clearly BT Sport was absolutely fantastic for Scottish football. they have got better pundits, like on Sky, like Chris Boyd, Chris Commons, they they look disinterested all the amount the amount of time, so you've got you you basically got Scottish football on its knees to Sky, right? Now that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Should have been BT Sport. I think BT Sport knew about that. Yes, okay, Sky obviously won the rights, but for me, BT Sport has been absolutely fantastic for Scottish football and will be missed uh, dramatically. So. That's that's another no, side of things. So, obviously, there's a big meeting now on the twenty third of April, where it's going to determine the fact: do uh, will will the Premiership season end? 
Because now, basically, the sole purpose now is a Premiership now. Um, now, for me, I can't see it being continued. I can't see it even starting up again. Probably the latest they would probably start would be probably June, in my opinion. Um, you've obviously got Hearts uh, in, in the bottom place at the moment. Um, you've obviously got Hamilton, who are fighting relegation. You've got St Mirren. You know, Hearts are only four points adrift of Hamilton. So, you know, there, there are still games for them to play. You've obviously got... Well, Celtic will run away leaders anyway. They're 16 points clear to Rangers. You know, you've got Aberdeen Mullow fighting for Europe. You've got Livingston Hibs fighting for Europe as well. Um... But highly unlikely Livingston Hibs will probably finish. So, you know, as a Livingston fan, it would be very, very good to finish the season. Um, yes, it would be good to get top six. But obviously, now that the season is over uh, in the Championship League 1 and League 2, they're going to try and get the money to those uh, football clubs. So, in a way, I feel sorry for Partick Thistle. And I feel sorry for Stranraer because the way that they, this has been handled has been absolutely horrendous. The way that Dundee just left everybody waiting, just everybody waiting, was absolutely ridiculous as well. And now they're looking at reconstruction. And I've seen I've seen some really stupid ideas. I mean, there was what there was one that um there was one that I think had a I think had was it fourteen teams in it. So that would be obviously uh, Celtic, Aberdeen uh, Celtic Rangers, Aberdeen, Motherwell uh, Livingston, Hibs, St Johnston, Ross County, St Mirren, Hamilton, uh, Hearts, um, I've obviously missed up, uh, St Johnston, um, Dungeon United, Inverness, Cali, Thistle, I think our Brof was another one, and uh, Mirror United. So that would be 14 teams. Then there'd be, t I, think it's, I think it's 12, I think it's 12, 12, 12 or something. For me, that doesn't work either. So, You've now got you've now got a situation where basically people are basically going to say now league construction is probably the way forward. I mean, I mean, do I trust the people in charge of Scottish football? Hell no. They couldn't organise a piss up in the brewery. I, I, sorry for my language, but that that's 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 the way I see it. That's the way I see it. So it's it's a big it's an absolute joke and. We've now got basically two people who are now in charge of the um, of this reconstruction. Anne Budge, who uh, is in charge of Hearts, who have the fourth biggest budget in the in the country, and they've underperformed this season. And Les and um, Les Gray of Hamilton. Again, I mean, honestly, what what is going on? What is going on? Um, but. Scottish football, an absolute chaos. And then it's because of these corrupt, incompetent people at the top of uh, at the top of, of, the, of the Scottish football. Honestly, it is. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I've had my rant, so let me know what you think. Um, and let me know what you think is the way forward, because I don't think the season's finishing. Um, there's obviously a thing to get the season finished by the 30th of June. Um... Will that happen? Or, uh, sorry, 30th of May, sorry, I should say. Get that finished. Then, well, then they'll just have to, you know, probably avoid it. Um, but obviously, they've come to the decision to end the Scottish uh, Scottish football. Um, the lower leagues, Championship League 1 and League 2. So, let me know you what, let me know what you think. And um, I'm not having to go at anyone. I'm not having to go at Hearts. I'm not having to go at Rangers. I'm not having to go at anybody. I'm just having to go at the people who have concoct, conducted this absolute pile of shite? It is absolutely ridiculous. So, guys, let me know. In, let me know in your uh, thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think is now the way forward for Scottish football because I, I'm I'm scratching my head around it. I do obviously do not know what is going on with our football, but. It's looking like that the Premiership is likely to be ended uh, at a meeting on the 23rd of April. That is what's going to be interesting to see. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you do like this video, then hit, please hit the subscribe button. Don't do rants very often, but smash a like, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe to the Dugout Football channel. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.